of my Christmas elves, it's Paul Carenza here, Santa Carenza, with more festive facts for Fact Fed, December the 5th, so it's St Nicholas Day tomorrow, today St Nicholas Eve, and here's your fact for today, from Hark, the biography of Christmas, um, yeah, in the medieval church, today was the last day the adults were in charge, technically, because from the 5th, sorry, the 6th, indeed, to the 28th, uh, the boy bishop would take over, delivering sermons, that sort of thing. It's kind of a way of the children having a bit of fun in the church, like messy church of its day, really. So um, that lasted for most of December. It was just banned in the Reformation. Plenty more in the book, but also, from tomorrow onwards, my Audible original podcast launches. More on that on tomorrow's uh, video, but wherever you are, I hope you're having a merry... Advent. It's not. It's not Christmas yet. Nearly Christmas Day, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, hello. Hey, Junior. Merry Christmas. <laughs> hello. I'm Suds. Today, we're taking a look at the top ten biggest machines. So let's get started with the, 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 this, this one. Like and subscribe right now, or you're going to have terrible luck for the next week. Don't it. It's no news that machines help us live a stress-free and productive life. These genius ideas are a testament to the creativity and so the, 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 the ideas. Without further ado, it's the top 10, the top 10 biggest, biggest machines, machines ever. ever. Number, Number 10. 10. Antonov AN-225 Mariah. The Antonov AN-225 Mirage well, that's a, the, 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 the big airplane in existence. It is an airlift cargo that's plane that flies in the sky with a maximum by. weight of 640 metric tons. It also boasts of the highest wingspan of any aircraft, but despite its mammoth size, it reaches a top speed of 530 miles per hour. Not only is it one of the largest machines humans have ever built, but it's also a technological marvel even after you the first machine. The first of its kind took off to the skies in 1988 and hasn't remained the same ever since. The AN-225 has set several world records, including airlifting the world's heaviest and longest cargo. It set one in 2004 when it flew a 247-ton piece of oil pipeline machinery in Uzbekistan. Since its comeback That's in 2001, the it's been biggest thing in sending aid to disaster areas like Haiti and Japan. Number 9. Prelude FLNG there are several floating natural gas platforms, but the Prelude FLNG is the most of the right game in terms of size. That's the, it comprises the biggest more than 260 ship I've ever tons sunned. of steel and measures 480 no meters long and 74 what. meters wide. The mammoth machine was built by Kogus, that's, Dutch Shell, that's and Impact in 2013, when and I'm is said to have gold to one hundred point six billion dollars. It is still in use around 120 miles off the Australian coast, where it's instrumental in the drilling of gas. It would continue to perform for many decades Did I lose? Compared to many human-made sea equipments, this one has to have the most impressive features. For instance, it displaces five times more water than the Nimitz class aircraft carriers, the second largest warship globally. Its tank capacity is compared to 175 Olympic swimming pools. The main turn-on for this project is that it chills natural gas to minus 162 degrees Celsius. Number eight. Light Renault L2350. The Le Tourneau is another monster that deserves mention on That's this list. That's a monster on a machine! Unfortunately, all the videos and pictures of this machine you'll see on the internet I, don't give justice to reality. I According to the Guinness World Records, it's this. the biggest earth mover oh, wow. ever built. It can lift earth and practically anything to an incredible height and boasts a low That's capacity of That's the biggest machine I've ever seen. To put it into perspective, if you were to convert the weight of 30 cars I to earth, can they would sit comfortably on Le Tourneau. And looking in the Even flash its tires are something else. They stand at 13 feet tall and wide. Its bucket is so huge that it can hold the same as five standard dump trucks. This weight is powered by a 16-cylinder, 65 liter oh, diesel man. engine that puts That's out around 2,300 horsepower. Thing. You'd imagine how Still well this got machine the memories, needs fuel. No? The tank holds almost 4,000 liters, you and it's expected given its size me? and the amount of work it does. Number, Number seven. seven. Crawler Transporter. The Crawler Transporter is a massive mobile platform used for transporting NASA's rocket ships. This monster costs about $14 billion to build and is regarded as the largest self-powered land vehicle our wow, planet has seen. Wow, this thing is monstrous. It weighs 2,721 tons and runs on eight massive tracks powered by 16 traction Hey, motors. where did you go for? A team of 30 engineers and technicians must operate There's no the need to worry about shouting out. ...located at either end. As expected, it's relatively slow and moves at two miles per wow, hour. Wow, not that I'm seeing what I'm telling you. In the early 1960s, NASA considered several strategies for transporting spacecraft, including canal Who's and the next and one in that? 
They were inspired by how the mining industry has adopted mammoth equipment and decided to replace it. Decades later, the Crawler Transporter was built to transport the Apollo spacecraft between Kennedy Space Center That's the transportation what I'm talking about? And 39B. No way. Years, the machine has been Seriously. Made over 300 times carrying the Saturn V rocket wow. for the 1967 Apollo mission. This device is currently being upgraded that to carry is... up to an 18 million pound load. Number six. The International Space Station. Most of the machines listed here are used on Earth. That's a spaceship. It's a space station. space station. It's located in space. This yeah, is a from outer space. Research station launched into a As low I'm Earth saying? orbit in 1998. This incredible engineering feat has been home to multiple astronauts and scientists since it was launched. About 242 people from 19 countries have visited the station since its launch in 1998. Scientists would comfortably vote this one as one of their favorites. Still the got ISS phone home. It's 109 meters long and 75 meters wide. That's like a it ship It weighs around coming. 420 tons, which is the same weight as 280 My cars. Look at that the eye. station is used to store equipment, while the other part is just a space to station, I However, say. the living area is larger than a six-bedroom house, as it boasts six sleeping quarters, a gym, two bathrooms, and a 360-degree window view. The ISS orbits the Earth at speeds of 17,500 miles per hour. Aside from the researchers that visit occasionally, six residents are Well, that's a cool looking station. spaceship. Number, Number five. five. Bella's 75710. We've seen massive 7, vehicles 5, 7, 10. giant excavators, but how about vehicles big enough to shift the entire. Bella, is that a construction? The records crowns the Bella 75710 as the world's largest yeah, dumpster truck but in the world. This machine moves on eight wheels and carries 450 metric tons worth of load. This monster truck is driven by two M2 Ooh, six that five truck is six so monster. Due to its weight, it has a maximum speed of 40 miles per hour. This is an incredible piece of machinery we can't do without. What is even more important is how much torque and turning power it boasts. The Bella 757 well, has an impressive peak torque of 13,738 pounds per foot, which is about 24 times point. what a 2014 Formula One car engine can manage. Fuel consumption is packed at 1,300 liters per 100 kilometers. Still digging, huh? To allow drivers to get to their destination no faster, if both axles steer at a turning radius of 65 feet. In addition, Siemens engines can monitor the hey, truck's performance and diagnose problems for? without leaving their offices, thanks we to the new software. Number four, Bagger 288. The Bagger 288 is one of the world's biggest machines ever made. It was built in 1995 by a German industrial company called Tachrav and is used to dig earth for coal mining. It has a colossal wheel connected to 18 mining. buckets, each of which contains 15,000 pounds of coal material at a time. Funnily enough, Still get the one friend? of the buckets picked up a large bulldozer by mistake. This machine removes around 100,000 so. cubic yards okay. of materials daily. To put this into perspective, the load you amounts to 2,500 truckloads on in a there. day. So you can imagine the effect this weight would have on the environment. It measures 9.5 meters high and 22.5 meters long. As expected, this equipment takes a long time to move this from one location incredible. to another as it moves 1 to 2 kilometers per hour. Building testing, this equipment got an immense $100 one, two, million, dollars, one, two, and it took the company uh, five years to design still and not working on that hard. Nevertheless, after it was completed, it surpassed the likes of NASA's crawler still transport to okay become the world's largest land vehicle. So, do you want to move mountains? This is the guy to call. Number 3. Overburden Conveyor Bridge F60. If you haven't seen a machine that impresses you so far, this one certainly would. The F60 is this the largest machine technical industrial is machine in the world. The biggest it's an enormous conveyor ever used to yet. transport waste during coal mining. This machine has an impressive structure and is toted as the longest human-made vehicle ever made. There are about five of its kind today, and all of them are still in use. Call this marvel a technical dinosaur if you want, but it carries 11,000 tons of steel over 502 meters and can shift 29,000 cubic meters of earth per hour. The conveyor first started operations in I 1991, but its first manufacturer ceased watch. to exist. It meant that we'll production for the equipment could this. stop. The mining company thought that the machine was necessary for the mining industry and decided it wasn't time to give up. Engineers went back to work and developed a standard conveyor gantries with each model better than the previous ones. They reached their zenith in the F60 type. Still now not it's time for today's best pick. This machine was so large that it took three That's weeks to be transported pick. from the factory to the mining site. However, it caught my attention and I thought about bringing it here. Number two, Bagger 293. That's a Bagger, Bagger 293. Bagger 293 is a giant bucket wheeled excavator made by Tachraf. 
It was built in 1995. That's the biggest machine. inspiration from siblings' vehicles like the Bagger 281, 285, 287, the big 288, machine. and 291. It is used in the coal mine near Handback. Still got a war one web by ten. Tall, it holds a title for the mm -hmm. highest terrestrial vehicle. It is 225 meters long and requires five people to operate. <sighs> The bucket wheel alone is over 21 meters in diameter, with each one of the 18 buckets carrying 15 cubic meters of material. This machine is by far the most impressive on the Internet of Things. The excavator is designed to automate the mining process and do the job of 40,000 miners. Automation of the Bagger 293 requires sensors like data acquisition systems, GPS, and There's online There's no need to worry about the machine. The remote team uses an internet connection that to monitor the machine's performance and optimize the biggest. its functionality. Before we move on, I have a little challenge for you that'll take 5 seconds to complete. So here's the deal. Just leave a like on the video, smash the subscribe button, and hit the notification bell. And you'll get 25 years of good luck. Try it. It really works. Number 1. Seawise Giant. The Seawise Giant is a That's ship the giant names. ship! It was initially called the Happy Giant. Oh yes, Jerry yes, 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 yes. Despite the name That's changes, the biggest machine the I ever told you. It's the longest you. ship ever built despite being scrapped in 2010. On hands on deck! The machine was constructed in 1979 and had an exciting life, including being temporarily sunk during the Iraq-Iran War. But first, it's twice as long as the Titanic, and it fell into the ocean Still got the best and continued looks. sailing. The ship is also believed to be the heaviest oh, and gigantic ship of any kind, well. with a displacement of 657,019 tons. The Seawise Giant leaves an indelible mark in the sands of time. How big was this That's ship? That's gonna call it a big It was so thing. large that it couldn't navigate the English Channel, the Panama Canal, or the Suez Canal. The rudder alone weighed 230 tons. Whoa! Plus it measured you got cool machines! Cool mini inventions! Unfortunately, the ship became you got this. War and I'm telling that. you. When the war ended, a Norwegian consortium bought its wreckage and the war ended, the shallow I never did. For repairs. There you have it. We well, that's all for the top 10 biggest machines. And don't go away. The story time will be coming up next. Right here. Hello, I'm Anthony Daniels, and since we're spending a lot of time at home, I thought I'd read you a story. It's a Star Wars story based on one by Jason Aaron, and it's called R2-D2 and the Renegade Rescue. C-3PO was in danger. Stormtroopers had captured him and were holding him prisoner aboard a Star Destroyer. They planned to make 3PO tell them where his friends, Luke Skywalker, Han Solo, Princess Leia, and the Rebel fleet were hiding. The only thing was, 3PO didn't know. The Stormtroopers contacted Darth Vader. That droid is useless! He doesn't know where the secret rebel base is. We will scrap him for parts. I beg your pardon, 3PO exclaimed. I am quite an important figure to the Rebel Alliance. My friends will not rest until I am safe. 3PO hoped that help was on the way. And soon... Help was on the way but not from whom 3PO expected. R2-D2 had stolen an X-Wing and chartered a course to the Star Destroyer where 3PO was being held captive. Once there, he shut down all the power to make it look as if his ship was drifting in space. Our scans show no sign of life the Star Destroyer's crew told their captain. Bring it on board, the captain ordered. It might have information about the Rebel fleet's hiding place. R2-D2's trick had worked. 
As soon as our two ship was docked in the cargo bay, stormtroopers surrounded it. How was one little droid going to get past so many guards? The stormtroopers contacted the captain. Look like there's nothing on board the ship except a droid. What should we do? Take it apart and scan its memory banks, the captain ordered from the control room. Now R2 really was in trouble. Whoosh. Quick as a flash, R2 stunned the stormtrooper examining him. What the? exclaimed the others. The droid is attacking? Blast it! The stormtroopers drew their blasters, but before they could fire a single shot, R2-D2 stunned all of them. Beep, 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 said R2 as he rolled away. He was on a mission to save his friend, and nothing was going to stop him. We've, uh, we, we've lost contact with the stormtrooper team, the crew members in the control room told their captain. The last thing they reported was something about a droid. Are you saying a droid took down an entire team of stormtroopers? The captain asked angrily. Send down more troops. Tell them to be on the lookout for the biggest, nastiest droid they have ever seen. Thankfully, Ardu didn't look big or nasty. He looked small and harmless, and was able to roll past many stormtroopers without raising suspicion. But while Artu was small, he was far from harmless. As he searched for his friend, he locked one team of stormtroopers in a cargo bay, confined a second set of soldiers behind a blast door, and then trapped a third team of troopers in a trash compactor. How did we even get down here? One of the stormtroopers said. It had all happened so fast. But Artu was running out of time. More stormtroopers would be on the way soon, and he had to find 3PO before his friend was scrapped for parts. He searched every containment cell until finally, it's about time, 3PO cried when R2 opened the door to his cell. Two Imperial droids were hovering over him, about to dismantle him. What took you so long? 3PO asked. But R2 didn't reply. He just rolled to the side. Where do you think you're going? Rebio exclaimed as he struggled against his restraints. You're supposed to save me. <laughs> the stormtroopers chasing R2 entered the cell and opened fire. But they hit the interrogation droids. My mistake. R2 and 3PO were able to sneak away in all the confusion. The droids raced to the cargo bay. They had to escape in the X-Wing before the captain realized what had happened. Where are the rest of the rebels? 3PO asked. Beep, 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 beep. R2 replied. What do you mean it is just you? 3PO explained. R2D2, you silly bucket of boats. Whatever were you thinking? Go. I am going to have to save our circuits myself, aren't I? As 3PO talked, R2 helped his friend aboard the X Wing and swiftly piloted their ship into space. Meanwhile, the captain of the Star Destroyer was not happy. Whoever that intruder is, he has just taken out three dozen troops. Sir, he's escaping in the X-Wing, a crewman reported. We're activating the tractor beam before they can jump to hyperspace. Never mind that, the captain yelled. Blast that ship before Darth Vader hears. Unfortunately, Darth Vader had already heard. I will deal with you later, he told the captain. 
For now, I will follow that escaped rebel ship myself. Vader chased after the escaped X-Wing and his TIE fighter. Artu zigged and zagged, but he was no match for the evil Sith Lord. That droid pilot has ruined well from someone, Darth Vader mused. He locked on his torpedoes, but not well enough. It looked as though it was all over for the two droids, until <sighs> a blast rocked Darth Vader's TIE fighter. It was Princess Leia and Han Solo in the Millennium Falcon, and Luke Skywalker in his X-Wing. They had come to the rescue. Shooting at Vader never gets old, said Han. Luke contacted the droids in their X-Wing. R2, lock onto these coordinates and make the jump to hyperspace, now! In a burst of light, the rebel ships escaped. They were all safe, and the 3PO had been rescued. Thank heavens you came in time, 3PO said to R2 once they were back with the fleet. They, it was my calm under pressure that really saved us all. Beepity, beepity, beep, beep, R2 replied. See, you go and say things like that, and it makes me wonder why I am so nice to you, 3PO said. The stormtroopers were nicer to me than you. The two droids continued to bicker, but deep down, they were very happy to be back together again. 